Hey True Seekers, it's Nathaniel and Carolyn here to do a deck profile of our Ezra, Faith, and Holy Spirit deck. Uh, so to start off with Ezra has the uh, ability, it says during your score phase you may convert any Faith discard cost on a single ammo to a Faith cost. Um, so basically on my ammo, the, like a uh, Half Lanch Ultra or Armorino Level 1, when I activate it, I can simply choose that that one animo I don't have to pay its discard cost instead I'll just make that or I don't have to discard my faith cards faith cards when I uh, pay them um, I am choosing to run six faith power cards and three Holy Spirit um, my goal is to get three Holy Spirit and three faith with three faith in my discard pile so I have the exact number of power cards I want to see during a game uh, also, by running nine power cards, I'm hoping to draw into them more naturally so I can play them rather than having to search them out. All right. Uh, moving on. I'm going to move on to my sinnies. First sinny is Detestable. Detestable has the action that says, your opponent must discard one of their equipment cards that are in play. This is to counter my opponent's strategies with Paul's Chains or any other equipments that they might be uh, utilizing, uh, like Belt of Truth, uh, but mostly just Paul's Chains. Uh, it's also a 10 defense Cine, which is really good. Uh, Zapper King. Uh, Zapper King has an action that says your opponent may not play any level 1 animal from their hands in the small group next turn. Zapper King is a staple card that just kind of shuts down your opponent's turn. Uh, running one flipper. Flipper says that if your opponent has 40 or more points, this animal gets plus 10 defense. And by becoming a 17, which is bigger than most megas. Uh, Crasshopper. Crasshopper says when, when played, your opponent reveals their hand, selects one card, and have them shuffle it back into their deck. Wolf has the ability that when this card's in your hand, you may choose to show it to your opponent and shuffle it back into your deck. If you do draw another card, this card's extremely helpful because um, sometimes you draw two sinnies and you don't need to, so you just used Wolf when the Wolf's in your hand, shuffle it back, and then use the other sinny. Uh, Judgeweed. Judgeweed has the ability says as long as the sinny is active, your opponent may not reveal sinnies. Um, you use this on the turn before you plan on winning the game. So that way your opponent can't play sinnies on you and hinder your uh, your victory. And finally, Hookworm. Hookworm has a, the ability that says, as long as the sinny is active, all your opponent's animo require um, one extra universal cost in order to be activated. So he's really good because a perfectly timed Hookworm can hinder your opponent's turn, sometimes even better than uh, Zapper King. All right. Moving on to story cards, have two fishing nets, which says draw two cards. If this card was the last uh, the last card in your hand, draw four cards instead. Run the rich fool, which is just says draw the bottom three cards of your deck, which is, has great synergy with the flaming girl level two for faith that I run in this deck. Run two shake and break, which says. Return two level one animo, excluding ultra from your discard pile in your hand. In this deck, I'm using the stagnetic strategy. So I like to be able to add those back to my hand so I can reuse them. I run one, uh, the runaway. So that way, an animo that I discarded or that I've already uh, used, I can get that back to my hand. And because this is a also a Holy Spirit deck, I'm running two Bible study spirits. So that way, I can search out for any uh, Holy Spirit animo. Um, in addition to search, I am using Paul, my own Paul's Chains, which the ammo it's equipped to can't uh, cannot be activated, um, but I can just discard that card anytime during my setup phase. And then once per turn, as long as this card is attached to an ammo in my small group, I can search my deck for up to two level one ammo and place them into my small group. If there is no room in your small group, this card has no use. And then one single copy of Frankincense. Because sometimes, even though I'm running Ezra, who does the exact same thing, Ezra allows me to can only do it once per turn, and sometimes I need to do it twice in a turn. All right. Moving on, we are going to cover my Holy Spirit animal. 
So here is two hybrid level one. Um, two for three is not great value, but he grows in the hybrid level two. Um, because I am not using any special powers in this deck, um, because there's no special powers that is both faith and holy spirit, um, hybrid um, set allows me to basically play a standard card, uh, standard power card from my deck uh, directly into my power pool. So he's very helpful in searching out those single cop or so to look out my uh, standard power cards. And then I run just one hybrid level three. I don't plan on really playing hybrid level three all the time. Um, it's action to search my deck for uh, either uh, or up to two virtuous animals that are either level two or level three. Um, isn't extremely useful in this deck, but I can use it to look at my Quillows or my Flaming Grows. Um, so he's not completely without use. And then I have two Gut Piece level one. Uh, Gut Piece has the ability that when this card is played from my hand into my small group, I may search my deck for any one Faith or Hope Animo. So I play this guy and I'm going to go grab my Stagnetics or whatever I need during that turn. Um, I run two Gut Piece level two uh, because... Gut Piece Level 2 is extremely important for drawing cards because when you grow your Gut Piece Level 1, you get to shuffle your handy deck and draw 6 cards. So it's almost like you get an additional turn before you activate your animal. And then one of my win cons of this deck is going to be Quillo, but it's going to be specifically Quillo Level 2 Holy Spirit. So the reason why uh, this card is uh, a win con for me is because I use Stagnetic, who is a level 1 Faith Animo, and Quilla level 2 uh, enables its 10 Fellowship bonus when it's activating the same turn as a level 1 Faith, Hope, or Love. And since I'm utilizing level 1 Faith Animo as my win con, Quilla level 2 pairs up very nicely with Stagnetic to get that extra pointage. Okay. And then I run Flamingro. So Flamingro is one of those animals that can grow into uh, faith, hope, love, or Holy Spirit. Because uh, real flamingos or real uh, flamingos, they're the color of their feathers come out at, because of what they eat. So this one's going to be munching down on some blue things and become a faith. And this one's going to be munching down on some green things and become a Holy Spirit. So this level 2, uh, the Faith uh, Flaming Girl level 2 says, When this card is played to grow uh, Flaming Girl level 1, you may select up to 3 cards uh, from your discard pile and place them in any order on the bottom of your deck. As I mentioned before, I like to pair this with the Rich Fool, so I can just draw those 3 cards I put on the bottom of my deck. Flaming Girl level 2 Holy Spirit has it says once per turn you may draw one card for each Faith, Hope, or Love Animo in your small group. Um, he's a much more fair Servidude. Um, I'm not running Servidude in my deck. My goal is to get Flaming Girl level 2 out there, Holy Spirit, and attach Paul Chains to it, and just draw extra cards every turn. Uh, next up is the way I accelerate uh power cards in my deck using faith so this is armorino level one has the ability says once per turn as long as this card's in your small group and you place one faith power card in your uh, from your discard pile into your power pool so i'll draw a couple extra power and i will go ahead and play one and i will discard one then use armorino to go grab that faith power card and add it to my power pool or activate one armorino one turn uh the, and I have to discard that faith card, and then I'll just use the other one. Um, mostly, he's just going to be a one for five, because Ezra takes care of uh, the discard cost on him. Or I'm going to use him to discard from my hand, and then add, add it back to my power pool. Um, because my deck is going to focus on a level one strategy, I have True Blue. Uh, True Blue, he's a two for six, which is fair value, but... I mostly have them in there for the ability. It says if this card's in your small group, you may swap with any level one virtuous animal in your discard pile. And then the true win con for the deck is Stagnetic Level One. 
as long as I have, uh, he costs, he's a three for 10, which is pretty fair, but his ability says there's at least three face power cards in my discard pile. This card has no activation cost. So I'm going to pair this up with Quillo level two. And so that way I can gain 20 in a single turn or, you know, 40 in a single turn. Um, and then for my ultra, I'm using half a lant ultra. Uh, normally this is a spot we go to Armorino uh, Ultra. I am trying something different. Um, so I'm going to be discarding two faith power cards in order to get my power cards into my into my discard pile. Um, between Ezra and Frankincense, I might not end up discarding a whole lot of power cards. So I'll probably just have to choose not to use Ezra in order to discard the ones that I need in there. So that way the following turn I can activate my Stagnatic. All right. And then, lastly, I have Globster Mega as my final semi. Uh, he is a 16 defense. I like him. His weakness is fetchy. Um, and so, we're going to bring this video to a close. This has been our Ezra Faith and Holy Spirit deck. So in the meantime, Tree Seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating sinnies.